brothers welcome back to territorial.io we're starting off today here in a 26 player free-for-all battle here in scandinavia full sending against humans is not allowed favorite game mode makes it a little bit more competitive a little less rng so uh we'll just see what we can do here we have a pretty good spot for ourselves now this may not last we'll see if any people come in here at the last second but feeling pretty good about where we're at for right now uh yeah some people did come in in fact two people did come in but I'm hopeful that we can still capture this sector of the of the neighborhood. If we can do that effectively, I still think we're a dominant force to have to for other players to have to worry about. Uh, we do have somebody who's named Whale down here. Whale Welsh Empire. Wales. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. And I think the other player did leave. Yes, that is him right there. So that is good news for us. Good slash bad news. It's good because we don't have to compete for the land. It's bad because we're gonna have to early fight a big bot. It's kind of like fight, facing a boss battle early on the, in the beginning of the game. But we're doing pretty well here. We have got good expansion, good troop management. Let's go ahead and start our, our expansion a little bit more into the bot phase. As we are not really growing in a specific direction. We're just trying to capitalize on the opportunities around us and make sure that we don't miss out on big opportunities like uh, this guy over here. So doing pretty well on that front. Trying not to overextend myself in terms of troops because if we already have the crown, I think we're going to take the crown into the end of the bot phase. But I don't want to then become a target for all the players around me because I got too greedy with the land early on. Especially when the longer we wait and these attacks, the easier these attacks are going to be just because we're attacking with more troops based off our numbers. I do see a player down here coming in though. So I'm going to be... A little bit more chasing this hello that is another bot let's grab you and we are very fortunate to have some kind of passive players around us uh whales over here is a little bit on the weaker side and uh, we will have a corgi boy to contend with hello sir good to see you and we'll finish up these things down here and whales wants an alliance oh wow you are incredibly weak it might be worth just going into you right now uh how strong are we yeah we could do this we can accomplish this yeah let's go the, let's go into this guy grab this bot too oh that was beautiful well that's a big bot you have a lot of troops that's a human bot darn it okay save up be patient get attacked by this big bot that's fair but right now we're in a very dominant position now we do need to be able to take advantage of this yeah let's just for the love of god please let's get rid of this bot together it's gonna be good for both of us okay good now we can just save up our red interest mark is at 7.3 million so we have a long time to go ottoman empire though is uh this might be a mistake going into you early i'll take an alliance with you oh that was you well oh this is still you okay well you left and became a bot which means we're going to be the one that has to deal with you so we are just going to push into that right now throw our weight around uh, ever so slightly see if we can get any of the ottoman empire we are above 60,000, so we do move faster than the other competitors so we do get a good chunk of land here echo wants an alliance i'll give him the alliance for right now as we just continue to save here no need to rush into anything that was might have been a little bit foolhardy to get that we really didn't need it as the uh, empire over here is in second place and whenever people give me the heart that you know they're like hey please don't attack me they don't mean that like oh we're gonna be friends they're like don't attack me right now but i'll definitely betray you later so echo is sixth place player 202 is the the big threat so everyone can work against me in these moments so my plan i think is to keep gamer as a buffer state and work my way down south i think that's gonna be a nice effective strategy for us i might even skip player seven four, uh, four seven two and just go straight into echo as we are approaching our red interest mark about three million away from it in fact everybody's weak right now why wait for them to all get time to build up this guy's very weak right now and we can just slowly push into him and gain a lot of land and then go into this guy who's in fourth place after that we just have to manage our borders effectively and hope that gamer doesn't betray us and watch out for any boats from south africa and hopefully keep this guy in between the two of us i think this is a pretty good strategy yeah this guy's already down heavily on troops so we're in a very dominant position even though we only have 25 percent of the land things are looking incredibly good for us we'll have to wait for to see what south africa does but so far so good as we get a ton of land more and he's going into this guy Ooh, things are looking real good for us now yeah let's jump in on this and now we are an absolute dominant force that nobody can stop we have 45 percent of the land and just increasing in that uh og south africa does have a good amount of troops let's go ahead and clear out this guy as well 
just grab his little bit of land and then we will go into south africa our little buffer state worked out perfectly for us never allowing player 202 to get a border on us so he was there was never really any team up opportunity that could work against us so we'll kind of uh just roll through the rest of this one as we make our way up to player 202 this will take a little bit of time because the uh, south africa does have a good amount of troops yeah there we go and i will keep corgi around nice to have a corgi boy here even though he doesn't have the the thing that's fine it's a it's a free-for-all and i didn't you know save him or ally with him because he was a corgi it was very strategically important and i hope everyone can kind of see that uh i obviously don't like to to play favorites and if you ever see me in a game treat me as anybody else feel free to attack me yada yada all those things i always say but we'll just continue to knock down player 202 and as we do we'll give him the collapse of good sportsmanship on his way out say ggs to all involved on this one and get ready to move on to well let's try and finish this guy up the next game all right next game up is going to be a 73 person teams battle let's go down here and try and claim this neck of the woods for our team i see a lot of us are going very centralized but this seems to be where our team's going i imagine the red team's going over there and in fact they are we only have one red player on the red team to really contend with on our side of the board so we might get encapsulated by our own teammates but like the last game we might you know then become part of the the playing field again uh, by the way if you didn't see yesterday's video definitely check that out those were some really good games okay so there's two players on the red team over here that we're gonna have to contend with uh we do have uh, the goat over there who can help us out so we're gonna hope that he's a little bit of a stronger player as this does look like a, a 2v1 hello corgi nasa good to see you brother let's uh just uh, there you are kiss your face for you i didn't want to take my eyes off the screen to find you in case you were across the map but since you're right there we'll give you the kissy face so uh let's get ready to start our infinite growth phase see how big we can get as i think we might just be fighting the german reich i would like the german reich to cut me off if possible yeah keep going up north like i don't want to sacrifice land but i also don't want to have borders on two players of the red team at the same time so let's start fighting down these bots and try and maintain a little bit of strength for ourselves we can sneak through here too which is great as we're maintaining pretty good troops we just need to rob the uh red team of as much troops as possible now i am again not going to go through this last i'm going to leave this bot here as i don't need to unlock the hornet's nest right now as we save up and kind of be the holding line now if we lose the, if we lost this fight over here it'd be a bad battle for everything else as the red team is really strong we have most of the top 10 though so we are just losing a lot of ground over here in turkey so we'll just continue to keep saving up here let's get nice and strong corgi nasa is donating to us so is a lot of the bots around us these guys are now starting to get pushed back which is good they unlocked this player guy who has a lot of troops fantastic goat is making his way down that is interesting i might need to go up to save him he's getting he's digging a little bit too greedily too deeply in my opinion let's just grab this bot down here so we can potentially help him yeah they are going into him so we're gonna attack just give it a little shove a little brotherly shove yeah yeah i'm going into this guy don't worry i just want to get up to a red interest before i do oh corgi uzbek is attacking him oh he's here okay yeah then let's do this let's start knocking these guys down so we can donate forward oh there's a full send and how are we looking a little bit in trouble this guy's only got a hundred thousand what are you talking about oh my gosh and he's a bot i was just about to donate to him heavily we gotta we gotta move we gotta get these guys down dave is an absolute threat there we go he's gone okay we save and we get ready to mass donate hopefully player can do some damage over here uh dave is really slow playing this knowing that he has such an advantage so we really need to be ready to donate heavily like i might do a full sin donate this is a little bit scary trusting absolute strangers we don't have anyone on our clan to really rely on but Gust Gustivi or player one two three is probably going to be the person I, I donate to. We'll tell you go into this guy. Go into him. Come on. Be brave. Be brave. He is. Okay. Good. 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 Hopefully, other people see what's going on and the fact that we all need to donate. 
How many troops do you have? Four million. Gustav is not going to be able to get over there in time, and I'm a little bit worried he's going to hold on to his troops. Just keep donating. We, I think we have the numbers. We're just buying time for player down here to rob him of his uh, donation base, and we can win this. We have 67% of the land. As long as we're able to contain Dave, we still win this. Ah, there's a big hit. Yeah, he's going to start pushing through him. That's bad. We just invest in the stronger of the two, so his attacks do more. Gustavi needs to donate. He is good. Player really needs to get a move on, and he is also good. I think he sees what's going on. We donated a lot of our base, but again, I think it's important to get the troops out there rather than it'll be super conservative. And now we're starting to pull ahead. Good. As long as we don't lose this front, because there's nobody back here that has any troops. I think I'm the only one that's managed to hold on to any troops. Dave left the game? Wow. I thought he could have really won. Um, this guy's signaling up, down. He's saying, don't donate to that guy. Brother, this was the line. If we lost this, it was all downhill from here. This guy's got 10 million. He's doing just dandy. He's doing just dandy. But again, nobody back here had any troops. This guy, like 200,000. He could have just ripped through this without ever touching player and absolutely destroyed our team if we weren't donating up here. But now that he is, we're doing just fine. Everybody's going to win together. I'm going to make sure that these guys stay alive because they were the heart and soul of, of our backbone on this team. They saved us from certain doom. I'm not sure exactly what player's doing. Yeah, he's taking a long time to, to wrap up the rest of the map here with... Um... Oh, did the game freeze? Dude. No way. Game froze. Well, that's an inning you won't see very often, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and count that one because there was no way we were going to win this. Even if everybody became a bot, we would still win. Yeah, arrow, no server response. So that's a new one. But uh, I guess we'll wrap things up here. <laughs> so as we do start to wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, especially you made this fun of the video. If you have made this fun of the video, hey, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day. But boys, I will see you. In the next one to all of my members with a shout out to producers kevin andy stamps thessalonica gaming obama toes christopher ryan's american patriot lgb quagsire lover 32 and executive producers miss gets the mallard a137 mason slash aurelius rastuka robert rob coleman uther ekana noob rex jack russell sakari scarlet morwin ogan gabriel demented brock lowry jeremy daniels crushland nd paper and channel sponsors daniel stevens and Maverick149. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.